On September 2nd, 1752, all of the people of Great Britain and what was of America went to sleep that night to not wake up at all the preceding day or the day that followed that, and the next one too. The people did not wake up until 11 days later. The reason of this? Earth. Earth is the reason for the passing of those 11 days. Since the beginning of time, humans have been keeping track of the days that pass and mark special occasions for when the Earth comes back around to the spot it was at for that event. To keep track of long-term time and not minutes or hours, we created calendars. The Gregorian calendar, on the other hand, is special because of its preciseness. The Gregorian calendar is the most effective calendar for our planet, Earth, due to its chronometrical accuracy and alignment to the seasons and days of the year. At the time in discovery of domestication of plants for agriculture, people did not instantly think of irrigation to bring water to their plants. Instead, they had to rely on seasonal winds that brought rain for their plants. Eventually, they noticed that there was a pattern to this, and to keep track of when the rain would come again, that is, the time when it rains the most, they made a calendar. The easiest way to keep track of time was a lunar calendar because ancient peoples tied their calendars to whatever recurring natural phenomenon they could most easily observe. The lunar calendar had become a calendar for the ancient peoples. Lunar years are 354 and one-third days long. The Gregorian calendar is a solar calendar though, meaning it's based on Earth's revolution around the sun. This calendar is 365 days and one-quarter days long. There is obviously a major difference here, day-wise, that is. Though, not everyone used a lunar calendar in prehistoric times. An example of a solar calendar would be Stonehenge, which is thought to be used by early farmers. Before the Gregorian calendar came along, the standard calendar in use was the Julian calendar, which is established by Julius Caesar of Rome. The calendar which was created by Julius Caesar was remarkably accurate for the time it was created in. The calendar was only off by 11 and a half minutes every year. This calendar was the most used throughout the world until the 15th century when it was replaced by the Gregorian Reform aka the Gregorian Calendar. The Julian calendar looks like this. Although the Julian calendar is exceptionally accurate, the time that it's off every year does add up, and by the 1500s it was 10 days behind the Earth's position around the Sun. The Pope had decided on a reform of the calendar. An Italian man named Luigi Lidio, also known as Aloysius Lilius, made a reform on the Julian calendar and named it after the Pope in office at the time. It was called the Gregorian calendar named after Pope Gregory the 13th. The reform to the Julian calendar moved the date up 10 days then proceeded to have leap years and non-leap years. These were the rules that are made that are still used today. Every year that is exactly divisible by 4 is a leap year, except for years that are exactly divisible by 100. The centurial year that is divisible by 400 are still leap years, for example, the year 1900 is not a leap year. An example of a leap year would be year 2000. The Gregorian calendar since then became so accurate that it is only off one day every 3,236 years. As for today, the Gregorian calendar is used by most of the world and has become the standard way of keeping track of the year. The calendar was first adopted in the year 1582 by Italy, Portugal, and Spain. Ten days were dropped to do this in October of that year. Great Britain and America switched the Gregorian calendar in September of 1752. The rest of the world followed shortly after. Russia was one of the more recent countries to adopt the Gregorian calendar, it converting in 1918. The main motivation behind the reform of the Julian calendar was the day of Easter, which was also falling behind. The Pope wanted to celebrate the true day. Though today the Gregorian calendar is the standard calendar throughout the world, many Orthodox churches still follow the Julian calendar for religious purposes, as with the Muslims following the Islamic calendar. 
the only lunar calendar still being followed. Because of the Gregorian calendar, we are able to mark our days and events that pass down through history. The Earth is where it should be always on our calendar. Thank you for watching.